Uh, hello and welcome. And today I thought while I had everything set up, I would just do a quick video to see how much or rather how little power the Raspberry Pi needs to boot up. So to start I'm going to limit the amps to around 400 milliamps and I've already set the volts to 5.25 volts. And switch on. Uh, the red and green lights at the bottom of the video are the Raspberry Pi status lights. Uh, I think the red is for voltage. Uh, it hasn't booted at 400 milliamps, so let's try 500 milliamps next. Seems to be looking like it might make it. Nope, that looks like it's died. Okay, let's turn it off and try uh, 600 milliamps. And if you uh, notice the multimeter with the red digits, you'll see the voltage which I'm measuring at the Raspberry Pi inputs uh, notice how much it's dropping as the current rises uh, this is probably due to the crappy cables I'm using but the actual input voltage of 5.25 volts never changes right, so it looks like it's up and running um, I should also add there is actually nothing connected to the Raspberry Pi's uh, USB or Ethernet um, although the Wi-Fi is active and the HDMI cable is connected obviously okay so now I'm just trying to see what the uh, minimum and maximum limits are for the ready LED status lights and I think um, it seems to go off around about 4.7 volts and stay solid around 4.8 volts okay so now I'm going to see how low the voltage can be before it actually boots I'll just turn the amps up to 700 milliamps as I think 600 milliamps is probably just on its limit and although I'm setting the power supply voltage to 4 volts notice the Pi is only receiving around 3 to 4 volts due to the cables I'm using Because so the voltage went pretty low there, to th down to 3 volts. Now let's turn the voltage up to about 4.5 volts, see what happens. Uh, notice the input voltage on the Pi seems to be around about 3.5 to 4 volts now. 
Uh, it seems to have booted okay. Alright, now let's uh, try turning the voltage down and see where the uh, Pi dies. Seems to die around about three volts. Yep, three volts and it's died. So I think we can say these tests say the minimum is around about 3.5 volts, 600 milliamps is about the minimum it would take to boot the Pi. Uh, make of that what you will. Obviously, if the Pi may need more power to be stable, uh, depending on what you're using it for. So thanks for watching and bye now.